Hey guys, welcome back to my page, and this is going to be a little skincare routine video. Skin health is so important to me. I'm honestly always on like the new trend to figure out what is best for your skin health, what's going to make it the clearest, what's going to make it glow. I spent so much money on products, it's not even funny, and most of the time it's been products that are sold and available in superstores like Walmart, Shoppers Drug Mart, and all that stuff, all those products are just packed with chemicals, preservatives, nothing that's actually going to improve your skin in the long run. It's just going to be like putting a band-aid on it, not really getting down to the nitty gritty. But, so speaking of the nitty gritty, what's actually the most important thing that comes to your skin health is what you are consuming, what you are feeding your body. I'm sure you guys know this already, but if you are eating processed foods, a lot of sugar, a lot of fat, it's going to come out in your skin. So, eat right and you're going to notice such a difference in your skin. So basically, I wash my skin once a day. I use cold water in the morning. Um, no, no face wash, no soap in the morning. I just give it a nice splash rinse of cold, cold, cold water. It's going to stimulate blood vessels, stimulate your cells. It's going to make your skin wake up and just kind of have that nice glow to it. Um, and that's something I would really recommend. It's kind of just washing your face once a day, and that's what I do at night. This is the one product I do use to take off my makeup to my eyes, to my face, to my lips, if I ever wear lipstick. Um, it is available at all those, you know, drugstores and stuff. It's Garnier. Um, it's their Micellar Eye Makeup Remover. It's a two-in-one, and basically, it's oil-free. They don't test on animals. It's paraben-free, fragrance-free. So it is a little bit on the cleaner end. They do have some you know a little bit of chemicals in there that I'm not too fancy about EDTA is in here um, and if there's honestly anything in there that you can't pronounce I would kind of try to avoid it um, but this one I find is so 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 gentle like so gentle it doesn't cause any breakouts and I actually find my skin you could kind of go just using this and taking off your makeup without kind of putting on anything else and just go during your day that's how kind of gentle it is and it actually really removes stuff well um, so eye makeup remover, face yeah, eye makeup remover, face makeup remover, done. And this one's gonna look a little awkward. This is my face wash. I've used a ton of face washes. I've gone down to a dermatologist and had to use a medical face wash before, um, but nothing has worked like African black soap. This is how awkward it looks. Mine's like basically done. It somehow has gotten really like jelly-like, but it works amazing, honestly completely clearing up any pimples or any breakouts that I have, but it also puts in moisture where it needs to and kind of takes out the oil where you don't want it. So it kind of just balances your skin completely. I find my skin literally feels like as soft as a baby's butt every single time after I use this African black soap. It is completely natural. I think it's only made up of six to eight ingredients and it's all plant-based down to like plantain skin and cocoa pod and stuff like that, coconut oil, I think aloe's in there, shea butter. So it's amazing, it's super clean. Since I do have very, very dry skin, I find I do need to be using something that kind of has some oil in it and something that I can exfoliate my face with at least once a day. I'm just to be removing that kind of layer that is dry. And honestly, your skin is going to be so much more healthier and glowing afterwards. And this is what I use for exfoliant. So I use Manuka honey and some brown sugar. Honestly, I find it's just like a pure, pure, pure natural exfoliant. The Manuka honey has antimicrobial, antibacterial, anti-everything in here. Um, a lot of antioxidants as well. So it's really, really good for your skin health. And then the brown sugar, raw brown sugar. Um, a gentle exfoliant. I don't like to go too, too, too hard. But I find it's just kind of a less one less product I have to be buying at the store. I can be making something from home. I only need to make a little bit every single time I use it, which is really nice. I like to use a toner to be taking off around my hairline and on my neck and things like that, and just making sure in those little lines that I'm getting all the makeup out. Um, so I use Witch Hazel. Um, this is a Thayer's brand Witch Hazel. This is amazing. Um, no alcohol in here. Basically a toner is astringent, so it's going to tighten up your pores after you wash your face um, just so that afterwards your pores are closed and nothing else can get in there after you've just completely cleaned your face. If you're a girl maybe wears a lot of makeup and you find you maybe get breakouts around your like hairline and stuff use a toner to really get rid of that makeup there. I just started using this probably a couple of weeks ago and it's something that has been in my routine and vitamin C and hyaluronic acid serum. So this has been amazing. Vitamin C one of the strongest antioxidants to the body. Hyaluronic acid 
basically helps balance the moisture balance in your skin. And then getting right into the oil. So if you're using a lot of oil on your skin, which is I'm going to get into afterwards, everybody's into using coconut oil on your skin. Like, oh my god, coconut oil, put it on everywhere. Too much oil is going to disrupt your oil balance in your skin, and that is what causes acne. And I have experienced that. I've used coconut oil till like four times a day on my skin because I thought my skin was so dry and I would just keep putting on oil and I'd put on makeup and my, I would just feel so tight and so uncomfortable. Um, so I realized that oil wasn't really moisturizing my skin. It really wasn't. It was just kind of causing it to feel nice and moisturized for a few minutes and it was actually increasing my breakouts after a while, after continuous use. This is what I use on my skin. It's basically Lorna Vanderhey's Barrage Oil. It's similar to coconut oil, still very high in omegas 3 and 6, essential fatty acids. And honestly, using an oil with essential fatty acids is going to kind of replenish and rejuvenate those skin cells, kind of make them healthy and glowing, um, protect them as well. So I find using an oil is great, but to not disturb your oil balance and to increase the amount of acne you have, I use the moisturizer first and then I apply the skin oil. The moisturizer first is basically just going to actually moisturize your skin, lock it in while the oil is going to kind of sit on top, kind of protect that moisturizer from not seeping away and going anywhere. While the oil will help moisturize your skin as well. The last kind of thing about my daily kind of skin products that I use, like I said I have dry skin. Even though I drink a lot of water I try to hydrate my skin. It's always dry. Um, I think it's honestly just it's I'm going to have dry skin for the rest of my life. I honestly feel that way. So I use a day cream and I like to use a night cream as well. So this one is Derma E's day, Hydrating Day Cream. And this is a or completely organic natural brand, which has just kind of recently came into my store that I work at. It's called A Cure. Fuck, I don't know if you're going to be able to read that. No. It's called A Cure. Argan extract and chlorella. It's for normal to dry skin. Just has a bunch of really, really clean ingredients. Like there's not one chemical in there. It's honestly everything is just completely natural. I do really like this. I find it moisturized as well. So again, I'll use this day cream in the morning with the skin oil, only with cold water on my face. And then once nighttime comes and I wanted to wash off any makeup, any dirt or oil or toxins that could be sitting on there from the day, I use the night cream the hyaluronic acid serum and the skin oil and do my kind of daily scrub and deep wash. And anything else that I would kind of add about your skin health is to decrease your stress levels. Honestly, stress is going to increase cortisol, increase inflammation, increase basically toxins coming out of your skin. So make sure you're decreasing your lifestyle stressors that you could be experiencing, trying to eliminate maybe some of those toxic products that you have at home that are in your healthcare products or maybe in your shampoos and stuff like that um, just to be decreasing your overall toxic load right and this is going to be really important for improving the overall health of your entire body especially your skin um, so I really hope you guys like this video I'll put up the links for most of these items below and if you have any questions about you know what I said or anything about these products just give a comment below and I will get back to you and thank you for watching